Yes. Okay. No, we won't get wet. We just need to walk. No, we're not going to get wet. This is what half term causes. You have to mix LP and junk food together. Just interacted with a content I came across online and I think I wanted to add a bit to it. So why are we raising children without sharing what we're going through? And I think millennials tend to probably do this or maybe we do this right. I'm sure I'm not the only one. But as a mom and a wife raising children, I make it an effort to express how I'm feeling sometimes. So for instance, earlier on today, today's a no working day for me. And I sat down, I had to pull up my laptop to work from home. I had to say to my one of my teenagers that I don't feel like working today. And it's a non working day for me. When I woke up this morning, I did not feel like working. Why am I working? Why? I feel so tired. I feel so fed up. But you know, that goes with everything. And I must, I must say I'm, the, I'm one of the most unusual millennials because if I come back from work and I'm tired, I will say to the next child that walks through the door, I'm feeling tired. I've just gone through the work and I have to prepare dinner. It's not just this, the only dinner. The, I'm not the only one who's going to eat the dinner. But the fact that I've gone through a whole day's now to come and resume this second full-time job. It's the reality. So if there's anybody out there who's feeling like they have more than one job, you, de you do, you're just not getting paid for the other one. It's a life of, life of service. It's a thankless job. Can I, can I say it's a thankless job, really? Because sometimes, yes, you do get <laughs> the gratitude. But I don't, I don't I'm not... It's, it's not to mourn in that way, but it's just to, I guess, create a community for other women to come together and affirm ourselves, for men to understand that this is probably what your spouse is going through. You've both gone to work and this other person probably still has a second job to do the moment they walk through the door or sign off or log off. Yeah, it's just one of those things. But it's a very long thread because if we really think about it, further down the line of this thread, we're raising children that we're not telling issues about life. We're not sharing issues as we're going through them. Yes, you don't necessarily have to tell them this is how much we're paying as rent. But you can tell your children we're renting this house and we pay rent. This is how it works. Or we're mortgaging this house. This is how much it is. Mom, how much mortgages. Can you put this on? Of course. You have to learn to tell them and share with them that actually this electricity you have or that we have, we pay for it. And the bill comes quarterly, monthly, annually, or we are using a prepay meter. What does it mean? How does it work? So these are some of the things, a lot of things that schools don't teach. And I feel passionate about this that we should be sharing with our teenagers or our children, but we don't. Now, for that down the same line is when I have children, because parents have done what they, are, what they ought to do as parents and what we have always done as parents is go through life without sharing what exactly life is about with these kids. They now grow up expecting or having a different expectation of life. We have girls going finished, up girl. now. I'm finished. Well done. We have girls now prepping for marriage, expecting that they will end up with 
husbands who will always cook, who will always be understanding, who will always attend to their needs. And don't get me wrong, there are men who do that. But they're, they're not a lot. Then they're few and far in between and you don't know what you're going to end up with. But if we coach or speak to our children about what life is about, how we are experiencing it now, do you know we will raise better human beings? We will raise more understanding human beings. And in turn, they will get with more understanding adults like themselves to marry or to settle down with. <laughs> One of the most annoying things I see in society is one on relationship or marriage whatever it is you want to call it women are fighting for equal rights but where are you going to see the man if you haven't raised the boy to be empathetic and to be understanding to understand what a woman is going through her emotions where she's at and the same goes for daughters fathers are not sharing that much with their with their daughters because they're busy doing their own things and then we expect the son and the daughter to grow up. They will have different expectations of society. I don't know how people are seeing the world, but it's definitely skewed. It's flawed, heavily flawed. So I, th I guess it's so much better when, if you're a mom, you can share with your children, oh, this is how I'm feeling. Today I have to do this. These are chores. And they have to be done. If you get the cleaners and you say, oh, do you know the lady that comes to clean? I pay us a certain amount every month. So that they are fully aware of what it entails to have to run a home, to manage a home. Home management is a course. It's a course people go and take. And they get well paid for it. And so I'm doing everything I can to, to leverage that and make my efforts as powerful as they can be with the time that I have right here, right now. So your answers to that question um, definitely affect how you decide to do this thing. So I guess my question for you is, what is it for you? What do you want to do with YouTube? What, what do you want your time to look like? And really, what I'd be asking you here is, what are your answers? That we would not do, or do, as employees, but with a HR lens. Yeah, so as HR people, if we weren't HR people, know what we know, what, what would we, we not do? do? Yeah, yeah. we'll do. Yeah. So, you going to kick us off? Um, one thing that I would not do is not follow up after an uncomfortable conversation and it Mr. Black, why don't you make yourself some coffee before class is right over there? 
Assistant Principal Randolph's coming. Good morning, Mr. Black. This is your new class. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Randolph. Dude.